I personally do not like fish head. Like this is used in soup. And look at the price of the red snapper one, for instance, right? Red snapper fish head, five ninety nine a pound. Group up, five ninety nine. Pink fish head. $3.99. Wait, I just, that, just it, bought the kingfish and told the guy to take off the head. Isn't that the best thing to do with like a broth and It's a soup, but I don't like it personally in it. It has a lot of collagen. It is good like for um the soup and stuff, yes. Uh, a lot check, of the fish heads. I can't make this up. Check this out. What is it? Alright, like when you get old, I put you right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a whole one already. You get rid of it. Put your ship with So on a quiet Sunday morning when Mr. Ricky is home, this is what we do? Like when I just kick in. We it is late this morning. It is afternoon actually already. Yep. Okay, what time is it? After one. Okay, what are we doing for dinner? I should say now we just had something to eat a little while ago. Well, the amount of time the plans change today, yes? I really don't feel it. If I do right now, I don't feel like doing nothing. You want to cook for you? Yeah. Yes. I make the best fried rice and... Fry, you know, uh, fried rice. Yeah, just like fried egg on the white rice. That's not fried rice, but... I'm going to combine it together now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's cold, it's raining, so our plan got folded. We were going to go head out somewhere far out to get some brunch yeah we're gonna do brunch with the kids today so but unfortunately that has changed mm -hmm. and now we're stuck with the dilemma of what to cook for dinner i think you should really go in the kitchen and cook something and i'll be with you and i'll i'll show you what to do what do you think on a I, serious note but we're gonna show you later and it's all right. there we go again you just tell me my big lemon blueberry lemon cake for you that sounds like a lot <sighs> i really don't feel like after doing a nice hot curry that sounds good after a nice hot curry, you say? So what you want curried? Well... We, we eating chicken, can... of course. You want it, so... Yeah, we see where to go and find a piece of kingfish. Find where you're gonna find some on the road. <laughs> you're gonna go find a piece of kingfish. You wait for you to drive your mind up, don't go on. I doubt we'll see fish on, <coughs> on the road. Mm-hmm. So you feel like having curry fish? I have like having some nice dal you know, curry with curry when we, shrimp. Um, when we eat in meat, it's like... It's we, effortlessly, right? Yeah, go and pick a goody fowl farm, pick up a Dominic chicken, mm -hmm. go and buy a duck or um, a, a leg of goat. A leg of lamb or goat and mm -hmm. on something, right? But uh, this kind of thing, mm -hmm. you gotta make decisions. Yeah, have We have a, a boss man over there, bend him. Well, I did pasta pasta for them. Oh yeah, they have pasta. They pasta. have leftovers, so it's really and pizza. Wanna... And pizza they pizza, have pizza. Yeah, so we have worry about them picnic and them today. Yeah, but truly yeah. today is like a day to just throw back. I don't and... feel like doing anything seriously. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see later on what's gonna happen. Alright. For now we're just chilling like two villains, right? I am also. Yeah, Eden is also. Behind the scenes. So we finally decided to get moving. We outside in this nice weather. Where is it, Eric? I'd rather be home. I would rather be home also. So we could have do like you know on Sesame Street long ago there was a part where it's a call the fish and the fish would jump into the boat. <laughs> Maybe if we do that and call the fish it'll come to the house. Now we yeah. feel like having some curry kingfish, so we're going to the fish market. Where's gonna do? Sorry. Where's gonna say? What's the magic of television? Mm. It is really a good day. See, it's like a really not a nice day, but really like wet and rainy and a nice day to stay. Want make a nice? Wait, so let me let me make some fish broth now, boy. I'm just gonna pee face right away. I thought you was gonna say still want make a child. What? Not on this. Not on this, oh my boy. A child, you say, baby. A pot of soup. A pot of soup. Sound better, not no child. I know what you talking about. Look at these big um, 
take the demons and stuff they put in okay, I really don't know what they're doing here. Okay. Okay. Seven, right? well, the next one is the little candy bits. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, to keep them out? Oh, Liberty Avenue. Go to all Liberty Avenue. Making my way again down to Southern Kingfish Market. Let me go check out and see what they have there. I hope they have, last time we went, they didn't have kingfish. Let me hope that we get some kingfish there, right, Ricky? Yep. I All hope right. they do because that's what we're having for dinner. That's what we hope we're having. Kingfish, $5.99 a pound. Come, Rick. Choose on there. Slice it up and curry down by. This is kingfish. Yeah, this one here. This one here. Okay, so we're known to check the gills. Mm -hmm. If you want to get fresh fish. Oh, they're looking too right there. They're looking too good? Yeah. Huh? You look better? Ooh. You can see if it's like from like... It's good? Yeah, this one is red. Yeah, it looks red. Flesh is firm, right? Mm -hmm. So this is one of my favorites also. I like mussels. So mussels in with plenty garlic and some wine. As well as clams. They always have nice fresh stuff here. And of course, clean large squid, calamari. Usually some calamari. Still deciding? Yeah. That's the problem when you got too much to choose from. Mm -hmm. But you say you usually check it by the gill, right? Yeah, this one is even better. Better? We're gonna get some bronzino? Yes. How many are you getting? Three. One for you, one for you. Okay. The kids don't really eat it. Mm-hmm. Let me know how good for them. Nice snuffle. Try this. Mm -hmm. personally do not like fish head like this is used in soup and look at the price of the red snapper one for instance right red snapper fish head five ninety nine a pound group of five ninety nine king fish head three ninety nine so I just that, just it, bought the kingfish and told the guy to go the head. Isn't that the best thing to do with like a broth and it's a soup but I don't like it personally in it. It has a lot of collagen. It is good like for um the soup and stuff, yes. Uh, a lot Check, of the fish heads. I can't make this up. Check this up. What's it? Alex, when you get old, I'll put you right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a whole one already. Yeah, get rid of it. Did you just ship it in, eh? Oh, what do you say? Mm. Old wife. You trade in. All one for new one. The advantage of living in Florida mm -hmm. is many a times we see them boys like uh, Prince, Rocky, Sham. As Azim, and them boys kitchen these babies by the by the bucket load. Tilapia, uh, I yeah. know. Look at this. And look at the price of tilapia. Three ninety nine wild caught. Large tilapia, three ninety nine. See what? The jumbo wild caught, three ninety nine. Ah, Sharma, see, I was looking at the video with them, Gopi and Sharma and, and them boys on them. Get some big ones. We can do a business, but like I said, on this thing, may sell up on Liberty Avenue. I know. Look at this. Some big ones they have here Everything too. No hassa and no sherry girl. No hassa and what? Sherry girl. The crab. They have the crab in front of Yeah, man. Now, there's something you won't know about. In Guyana, right? Mm -hmm. Little by grow up. I've used to get a LM Gotten and Trench and Trainer. And I can't sell it like this, right? What you call it? They got some fancy they made for it, but look. Sparing? Oh, who tell you I wouldn't know about that? I grew up with my cousins and I'm in Kelly Village and this is all and drain nothing in the kitchen. This one, two, three, five, said dry fry, that is. Fry, dry, dry, oh, fry. Hey, hold your back on and wrong side by. Fried, no, fried dry, like how you guys have the banger, the fried dry is identical to that. It's different. It's different, the fried dry. If but it's, it's a type of sardine, like but the But if it's two things I came in this country and fell in love with, I thought I would never eat. Mm -hmm. It's the grilled octopus. Grilled octopus, yeah. And this calamari thing that you fry. Yeah, yeah. The I was just saying, this is one of my favorite, the calamari. Yeah. Clean squid. And I love, again, as I said, some mussels with the old wine and fresh garlic and stuff and clams. So that's what I'm gonna make also for my channel. We'll do some of the um, the clams, baby clams, and this is one of your favorite here also. Huh? Yeah, the, um, yeah, I can do it. Look at 
could use nice shrimp and stuff here. Yeah, that's how I was saying this squid. Okay, yeah. This is squid. Ricky likes a baby squid, so you can do this. And look at this guy's conks. Belly's conks. Yeah, 15 million a pound. This was a whole piece of bygone. Now, the, 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 the conks and the bygone thing, we wouldn't know about that. But you don't what's know about the? What is scallop here in place like the green mango? Oh, look, this small one here too. But this is, this is so good. Scallops. I'll get some other conks over there to do the Bygan, look at those, uh, we have the frozen lobster, is it fresh? It's frozen actually. This so, is the fresh one here. The, the lobster over here. As well as the stone crab here. So I, got, I gotta tell you something, right? Mm. I was having a conversation with my buddy Mango. Mm -hmm. uh, what, $12 Mango? $12.99 a pound, $12.99 a pound, Mango. Yeah. There's two type of old people. The old people who would say, are we eat Poloria next day when mango price drop? Mm -hmm. And then they got some that say, oh, buy, buy the mango now, you can eat the money. Well, that's what I did. As I said, I felt like having the mango, so I bought the green mango, right? So, and yeah. I actually kept some. I'm going to use it in this um, you mean buy the scallops now? Huh? Or when the price drop? When the price drop. Like, you know something inside here that I don't know? <laughs> <laughs> we came in here and it was only us and maybe one person. Check it out there now, guys. Ricky, is attract people or not? <laughs> it's good. It's good for business, right? It never fails. Yes, it never fails. Yes. It never fails. <laughs> we are back in the kitchen, in Anna's kitchen here now, right? Rick, the fish walking good, right? So I'm cutting up all of my condiments and stuff here now. I just washed the fish. It's there draining out. The kingfish. We're gonna make some hot curry fish and rice. And meanwhile. From Christmas, Ricky bought me a new cake mixer. Look at the beautiful cake mixer he bought me here. So I am going to donate my old one. This is gonna go for someone who can use it. Yeah, we're gonna call this act of kindness. It's, it's working fine, so yeah. why throw it out when you can just, you know, give to someone who would appreciate and use it. Mm -hmm. So, All right. so to, and today we're gonna to be using the new one actually because I am going to make, what kind of cake you requested, buddy? What was it blueberry, lemon? A lemon blueberry cake. Yeah. Yeah. Once you think about it. When you don't hit, when you don't lash your nice hot curry fish. The hot curry mm -hmm. fish with uh, loud pepper. Loud cherry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever he said. <laughs> we'll be baking a cake also, right? I'm gonna yes. do um a uh, blueberry lemon. See function. what I'm saying? From not doing nothing in the kitchen. I didn't feel like doing anything, but of course, the apron on and we did jamming in the kitchen. Alright, so we're gonna pack up this movie. We're gonna pack up yeah, in the box. Getting it all packed up now. My beautiful new cake mixer. We're gonna give it a, a test run today, as we'd say, right? Yeah, the cake can taste the same now with this one. No, man, it tastes better. It's a brand new thing there. Okay, you know something. It's not too Catholic. <laughs> Alright, guys, let me finish with my condiments, cutting up and stuff here, and we season up this kingfish and time to chunk here a nice pot of hot curry. The kingfish is already seasoned. Let's see what else we can do. 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 Let's see what a $12 green mango. I kept back some from the last time when I made my mango chutney. So there's like three parts and I need them all of them. Yes, exactly. And watch now, your boy cleaning up here, Ricky. Whoever getting this cake mixer getting a brand new second hand. <laughs> right, right term out. That's brand what we say, try that for real. If you, if you clean up something, it's a brand new second hand you're getting there. The boy, the boy take you to put your head and keep it in your hand. Yeah, that's to get up between the creases and stuff. This boy cleaning this thing here. Watch, I'm telling you, no, no, brand new. Watch, watch, what, what oil is this you have here? What is this? It's a little lubricant to uh, get whatever that needs to be touched up. It's a good cake mixer again, but because you bought me, what make you um decided to get me a new cake mixer, by the way? I like the color, you know, given the fact that you're a spicy trainee. Mm -hmm. I think red would have sought you out more. Okay. And then it makes life easier now that you have a cooking program. Mm -hmm. I don't have to go crazy and buy you all kind of fancy stuff. I want to just buy you like, in the next Valentine coming up, I'm buying a Kahari. Wait, wait, a what? <laughs> a Kahari? Yes, a Kahari. Say a potta boy. <laughs> <laughs> and down the line, I can buy you a cutting board, stuff like that. That's just what I need, okay? All right, thank you again for my beautiful you are welcome. cake mixer here. And this one again, somebody getting a brand new second hand. He put it, he packing it up in the box and everything to fall, yeah? So somebody will be very lucky. I hope it goes to someone who uses 
this cake mixer because it, it, it did really well for me personally. I use it a lot. And I'm gonna start right now, as I chunk this curry, to start jamming in the kitchen with a brand new one. Yes. All let's right. Hope, let's hope the cake tastes the same, right? It will taste the same, I'm sure it will. All right. Let's check on the fish. Curry looks good, bubbling away. Some nice cherry pepper there from Mr. Ricky. And you hear my mixer is going. I started creaming the butter and sugar. I'm gonna get all my other dry ingredients together. I bought these two beautiful pans from Amazon. They're silicone, so I'm gonna be using them for the first time for our blueberry and lemon cake. I have a pirate full of rice already there, so we're doing well. The cakes are gonna go in shortly after mixing. The curry smells so good. I can't wait to dig in into this curry fish and rice. Mixer working like a boss, man. Ricky make a mistake and walk in this kitchen and ask me if I need help. <laughs> Football Sunday coming to the kitchen now, buddy. Men in the kitchen, boy. I'm really working hard here. Love them. It is just the lemon. I'm going to squeeze this lemon juice. Right now, I have um, the lemon juice in my mixer. I'm going to squeeze that lemon juice in the mixer. I'm going to squeeze that lemon juice in the mixer. I'm going to squeeze this is my basic cake recipe. Again, I've shown many times on my channel my basic, basic cake recipe. Sorry, I'm getting tongue twisted here. My dry ingredients again flour, some cinnamon, baking powder. I, again, I'm gonna squeeze the, the lemon, the juice, and put it into, into the cake mix also. Meanwhile, our delicious kingfish is ready to lash. You ready to eat, Eric? Yeah. Only market, only port, right? There we go. Smells really good. And I put the cherry pepper there. Oh yeah, nice. So wait a minute, if you say you put in lemon juice mm -hmm. in the cake, why am I doing this? The zest has a lot of the rind from the from the lemon has a lot of oil, natural oil that comes out in the cake. And then I'm gonna squeeze the lemon also and use the juice oh. to put it into the cake. So it gives it a nice lemon flavor. And I have um so it's a blueberry lemon cake we're making. Mm -hmm. My container of blueberries. All right here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue zesting and I'm gonna start putting uh, these cakes into our beautiful pans here and set it into the oven. All right guys, so I did one of my silicone pans I'm using here. I did a plain lemon loaf I'm gonna do here and I sprayed the pans with a little non-stick spray, although it is silicone. Uh, I think I would use like a non-stick spray. So now I'm gonna fold in the blueberries. I washed them already. Let's go in with the blueberries. And I'm not using, I took off my attachment from here because you don't wanna use the attachment, it's gonna break up the blueberries. And we just wanna just slightly fold them in. And then I'm gonna put this, the rest of this batter here into the big, my big bunt pan here. All right, so let me continue folding. Then I'm simply folding the blueberries here and I'm gonna put them into the pans. My, my oven is preheating at 375. I'm gonna put these in and they're gonna bake for like 45 minutes. I'll show you guys the ending result. Curry walk in there, buddy. Oh, yeah, don't you get that sad? It is. <laughs> Curry is good. Oh, nice. Powerful stuff here, man. Mm -hmm. And we have our cherry peppers. Mm -hmm. I give you a pepper, right? Thank you. Ricky doesn't like too much of gravy and your food, too. But mm -hmm. on the other hand, look at your food here. I like gravy and I have. Let me count how many peppers my plate have. One, two, three, four. One hiding up on the slice of fish there. It's a little hot more, a little spicy one. So we're gonna enjoy some dinner while the cake, the cakes bake, finish baking. And then you'll have some dessert, right, Rick? Absolutely. Can't All, right. Wait. Mm -hmm. All right, enjoy your dinner there. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Our cakes came out of the oven. Look how beautiful they look. So I'm gonna have them cool down here. And I made a little glaze. So this is some confectionery sugar. I zested a lemon and I use half of the lemon 
to make a little glaze to put over. Maybe I'll do the pan loaf. Ricky, uh, Ricky doesn't like this glaze or any confectionery sugar or anything on the cake. He likes like the plain cake. So Aiden, you ready to try a piece of this cake, Papa? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of cake, Mommy, make? You know? Yeah. What kind of cake? Lemon raspberry, lemon raspberry cake. Oh, lemon blueberry cake. What uh, raspberry? Uh, what is wrong with you? <laughs> you like plain sponge cake, though. Yeah. All right. Why well, are you gonna try it? You're you're a good kid in trying new stuff and food and whatever. This is not new. I made this before. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn them over a little bit and I'm gonna glaze it and then we'll cut into it and try some cake for dessert, okay? Yeah. All right, buddy. Bye. So guys, look how beautiful the cake. I just cut into the cake here. This is the plain lemon one. I didn't put any blueberry in this one. And this is the one with the blueberry. I have one more in the oven that's still actually baking. I had some extra batter. Meanwhile, Ricky Jr. here, Mr. Aiden, you ready to go try this cake? Yeah. All right, let's walk in front. We're gonna take it for that, okay? Let's go. He's watching football. Okay, so we brought some for you to try. Oh my, 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 my. So this, this piece here, Ricky, these are the plain lemon. I didn't put blueberry, and this is the blueberry one. I drizzle a little bit of the, um, the icing on it, but it's very, it's lemon again. And then you can sit. I, I brought a fork for you to go sit there with your dad. Well, football Sunday normally consists of wings, but we will be having cake. Mm -hmm. Well, a little piece. You guys try. Okay. It's still pretty warm, so I just wanted you to try it and see like how how is it. So I, I know you don't like like lemon and stuff and any type of glaze. I'm sorry, not that you don't like lemon. You don't like glaze on cakes and stuff. But you but... could taste the lemon in this. Yeah, you remember? Well, mm -hmm. somebody helped me to zest it. Take away. It and try. Try a little piece, baby. It's good. It's really good. Huh? It's good. I just need tea or coffee. You want some tea? Mm. Make you a cup of tea? No, no. No? Mm. All right, so you guys enjoy. So what a way to finish the day. Had a spectacular curry kingfish it was mm -hmm. and um, waited for this dessert to come out of the oven mm -hmm. and here it is warm and nice and yes yes i did end up having he did decide that he wanted a cup of tea thank you Anne. a wonderful day yes and a great uh way to end off the evening it's always nice when Ricky's home. You don't be home too often. And when he's home, we're always running around and doing stuff. From not, from deciding that we didn't know what to cook and whatever, deciding to go to the fish market, coming home, having our nice curry fish. Mm. I'm going to have a little piece of the cake here now also. And it, is, it was a wonderful one. It's good. I love the way you, you incorporate the lemon inside. Yeah, you have to, You're the lemon and the then, lemon, yeah. no, and then I did a little, um, a little drizzle to go over the cake which is it's not too sweet is this is very good like with tea coffee it's, it's really really good okay. aiden how is the cake baby it's really good <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have a little piece also aren't you happy i told you about this cake <laughs> <laughs> yeah so guys thank you for spending the afternoon the day with us i should say not afternoon yeah. it started off you know on a, a, a bit a late side but thank you for taking time out of your life and spending the time with us Thank you again for all of your support, love, the encouragement, and kind words. If you haven't, please like and subscribe to Anna's Kitchen. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. video. Who do you guys have for the Super Bowl? We'll know soon. Good question. Bye. Bye.